I'm Brandon from Bright Arrows Ranch and today I'm going to repack the cylinder uh, for the bucket on this Yammar uh, VIO 75 excavator. Things I will need to do is disconnect the hydraulic connections at the, at the barrel end of the cylinder. I will need to remove the pin here that goes between the H-link and the dog bones. So I'll take this retaining bolt out and drive that pin out. I will then support the barrel with, uh, with some cribbing and then I will loosen the packing nut here and remove the rod out and we'll rebuild the seals. We'll replace the seals on the bench. So uh, please stick around and you'll see how we repack a cylinder. Thanks for watching. So a lot of these hydraulic cylinders have some kind of tool to unscrew the gland or the, the packing nut. And if they don't bolt on, a lot of times they'll use what's called a spanner wrench like this, where they got those notches cut and the wrench engages it, engages that notch and you can pull to rotate. And to go the other way, you'd come over here. Now, what happens is some, sometimes over the years, a guy won't have a spanner wrench and he'll use a hammer and a chisel to tighten that or loosen that. And that's okay, I would say, other than it tears it up and eventually you're gonna have to come up with a new method because you'll end up rounding all the edges off. And uh, this one here, we were able to get with just the regular spanner wrench, so that's nice. Perfect. It's always nice when you find the problem. So here are the main uh, internal seal that does all the sealing of the hydraulic oil from one side of the piston to the other side of the piston. It's split. It's split and part of the backup ring is split right there next to it. And so that's why the bucket was bypassing so badly. That's the only hydraulic torque wrench I have. So we've got the gland, the piston, and the nut. Um, your outer dust seal goes out here. That keeps your water and your dust out, but it does nothing to keep your hydraulic oil in. That job is done by this lip seal on the inside. And then there's a giant bushing in there that supports the rod as it goes in and out also. Now on the piston, you've got this center, the center hydraulic seal, which this one is cracked and brittle. You got backup rings that go with it. And then down in the middle, you got a support O-ring that goes behind the main seal to keep it pushing outward all the time. And then these wear bands right here, these red bands, these are like bushings, basically. They let this piston glide on the inside of that uh, barrel. lip seal and the backup ring that was behind it. Just like that. Should be able to get behind it. There we go. So there's that.
Thank you. All right, so there's the old dust seal. Slip off that war band. Backer, backer, and then the main ring here. So I'll just kind of roll this big fat seal off of there. There we have it. It's all stripped down. So I'm just cleaning this from oil and grease. And also rust, what have you. So there's the new lip seal with the lip facing inward and the backing ring behind it. So I'm wiping down the old dust seal for the outside and I'm going to use it as a drive tool for the new dust seal because it will protect the new seal when I install it. All right. All right, snap ring is in, and now we've got to do the outside. Okay, so we got the backup ring, the O-ring, the lip seal backup ring, and you got the dust seal and the snap ring. Now, we also have a new steel lock ring. And basically, this is supposed to get on, uh, put installed here, and tighten down very tight. Let's see. And then you bend that tab and you hold it into the uh, into the groove for the spanner wrench. So our old one was was damaged. So obviously I got to be more careful stretching the new bands around so we don't break them. Um, but they're pretty resilient. They do stretch and go back to shape pretty well. I'll just kind of roll it right back in. Let it shrink down a little bit. All right, I got that one all the way around. So that is the the main business right there. That's the main seal that um, allows the hydraulic oil to get trapped on either side of the piston. And of course, we gotta let that sit there for a while and shrink back down to shape. And it will naturally shrink back down to shape. Sometimes I've gotta stick a hose clamp around this just to uh, hold it a little extra firm. Put that band on there. Put that band on there. And now we're ready to put everything back together.
And now you've seen me repack the bucket cylinder on the MRVOI 75. I'm Brandon from Bright Arrows Ranch. Thanks for watching.